I wanted to do a quick shout out to my good friend Sherry Murphy who's teaching herself how to paint and thought I'd show you how I'm painting my blue bonnets today. Uh, double loading your brush is key. I'm putting blue on one side, white on the other side. Gotta get the white in here. Okay, so I have two colors and then I'm going to start with the white side up for the blue bonnets. And just with that chiseled edge, give it a little point, come down and make those little tiny strokes. Do a couple more of those. Even add like a little smoosh on the top. Then when you press a little firmer, they get a little bit bigger. You can give them a little twist. Always going back into your paint. Blue on one side, white on the other. Double load your brush, that's where the magic is. I enjoy doing my blue bonnets, very popular here in Texas. If you notice, I'm just dabbing. Usually I do a much better job when I'm not trying to record with one hand and paint with the other. But you get the idea, the white on the top. And actually when this dries, it's a, it's a little more vibrant though. White kind of dries a little bit more opaque. I did a quick time lapse, but this is just to kind of show you how to get these strokes in. Near the bottom, I just get a little bit more of a twist, a little twist. Sometimes you have to go back in the paint, get a little bit thicker so it lasts. Okay, I think that's good for that. Then I'm gonna do another one up here off to the side. Same thing, that one didn't have any white at the top, so I'm gonna go back in and give a little dab. And so it's just a stroke, a dab, a dab. Keeping your white always on the top. Now I'm doing three petals. I'll come in and maybe do three more. You can always go back and add a few more little spots. And then maybe I'll have Four in here. And it'll kind of go behind behind this other one. Just want to do this quick to just give you a little example. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm gonna go back. Oops. Brush is flying away. Now I'm gonna double load another flat brush with green and white. Put it on pretty thick. I'm gonna give myself a fine, I stay on the chiseled edge, the fine little line to get that nice fine line for the stems. And this other one is coming from over here. And this is folk art, folk art enamel paint, so some of the colors, sometimes I have to go back with the green and do a little bit more. You notice I'm just kind of wiggly and I'm not even paying attention which way I'm going. Turn it over this way so you don't get the shadow. I have a white paper behind the clear glass so you can see a little bit better. When you push, it goes fat, and when you lift, it gets thinner. And then I'm gonna put one off to this side. I'm gonna kind of come here, stop where the flower stops. Go back there and do that again. And then come off the side here, like it's coming from behind the flower. And then I'm gonna have another one 
kind of come up from the center. And actually, probably when this dries a couple hours, so I got to smooch. While it's still wet, you can wipe it off with a damp paper towel or your fingers, whichever is handier. Uh, but once it starts drying, it's hard to get off. Um, okay, so I'm going to remove the white paper so you can see the blue bonnet. Ta-da! On the clear glass. And like I said, this is folk art enamel paint. It's made for painting with glass. It has a little symbol on the top. And you let it dry 24 hours or so, and you can bake in a 350 oven uh, for 30 minutes. You leave it in there till it cools, or you can just air dry it. So this might, I might put a, another layer of green after this dries, but it should dry a few hours at least before you put your second layer. So I'm in the process of making some wine glasses because I'm on day, what day I'm on? Day seven of my quarantine. Um, and here's an example of what the wine glasses will look like when they're done. So I'm going to paint a dozen wine glasses and a few vases and just build up my inventory of hundreds of hand-painted glass. I hope you got some inspiration from that. Happy Monday!